are finally at the moment of truth. It seems that they do have all the food ready now and they will be starting the feeding process. I guess we essentially just walk and follow these guys as they feed the process. So it seems that they have a whole bunch of chickens that they essentially have in the container. And depending on the size of the lion, they would each get the different numbers of chickens. So I think like the bigger lions would get like four or five chickens. And obviously the small lions would only get like three. Um, this is like only in Africa where you have a guy on a 4x4 four four and then a, a few other guys behind him throwing chickens at, at lions. hungry or something
Yine çıktı. Yeah, so as we're obviously walking around the complex, the guys essentially just throwing chickens at each of the lions, and it's really just like I can't even describe how, like, like it for them it's just normal, um, but for me it's like you can see this massive lion eating this chicken in like two three bites. It's just ludicrous and. Um, yeah, like the only thing that's keeping me safe is literally these fences. Like, Yeah, so we were told that today, obviously, it's not a big group. I think there's like 20, 30 of us. But obviously, on a busy, like if you were to come here in December or Christmas, you, you, there will be a much, much bigger group. And then, obviously, they won't have as um, a smoother time as we're having today. Um, yeah, man. Jeez, I can't even describe this. So it actually seems that some of these bigger alpha lions are getting like five, six, sometimes even seven chickens. So like. So as this line sort of is just gobbling down these chickens, you can see in the far distance, the white lines are also coming out. And there's a tall group obviously with the, the feeding cart. It's... Yeah, so we were, when we were here a bit earlier, we didn't realize how many lines there were actually were. I think a lot of them were sort of hiding behind or you know sleeping whereas now i think because it's feeding time they're all awake and they're all sort of walking around and they, they're all sort of coming out yeah.
Like seriously, only in Africa would you get this kind of thing. This guy randomly throwing chickens at、um, lions. It's just, yeah, it's it's just crazy, man. Seriously, it's、uh, it's pretty funny, but yeah, it's it's pretty, yeah, it's really really crazy. I, I can't describe it. It's just, it's quite cool just to see up close.、Um, so I mean, this lion is literally. I'm right here. I can, if it wasn't for these two fins, I can walk up to it right. And、um, yeah, it's just quite amazing feeling to see them. And I, I sort of understand now when the staff was explaining to us a bit earlier why these animals wouldn't be able to survive in the wild. Like they wouldn't be able to hunt these、um, uh, sort of food for them. So like here, they get fed. Twice, three times a week. I think the staff said three times a week.、Um, so then they would obviously come around with this、uh, four by four, and then behind it there's that big cart, and then they would essentially throw chickens at the lion. So this is one of the white lions you can see. So this white line is Sabina, and then I think they threw about six chickens at her. So she's having a, a good time, you know, eating it. So now we're sort of walking towards the other end of the park, where there's sort of more white lions, and then right at the end there's also a tiger. So we didn't see that on the way in. So hopefully. We、see that now since it is feeding time. So up front, you can see this one cage essentially with a, a whole lot of white lines. So we were told that、um, the alpha or the male line was actually sterilized. So, but it wasn't sterilized. So it actually had、um, two daughter lines. So that was a, a, a surprise for them. So they were able to keep this whole lion family in one massive cage、um, park, so that they can obviously be together. Here we are at the white line. Yeah, so this is where I was saying that it was a surprise for them because they thought the father was sterilized, but it wasn't. And then essentially they had two daughters.、Um, but yeah, so I think that's all the white lines in the park. So now we're sort of heading towards the other end of the park, and I think there's a few other lines, and there's a tiger at the end.
Yeah, so as we sort of walking across to the other side of the park, um, I thought I would just let you know the... It seems that the, the diet that these lions have are essentially small birds, so they don't actually take the feathers off the chicken, they just throw the whole entire bird at the lions. Um, they literally can eat these within like two, three bites. So, yeah, geez. it's quite a, quite a scary thing to see. Um, but I'm assuming in the wild these lions will be able to hunt much, much bigger prey like um, zebras or um, buffaloes. Uh, I'm sure you've seen documentaries where, you know, a pack of lions can take down even um, buffaloes much, much bigger than itself.